Thank you for purchasing this premium enriched edition of Richmond Redeemed. This short video highlights some of the features that make this edition unique and how to get the most out of your reading experience. Let's start by learning how to enable and disable the enrichment features with this button in the top right corner. Click it once and all the enrichment elements disappear, leaving you with a very clean reading experience, just like you'd get with the print edition. Click it again and all the enrichment elements reappear. Here are a couple of short videos that we've embedded on this first page. You can use common controls in the bottom of each to play, pause, fast forward, or rewind them. Next, you may have noticed the three icons on this title page, the red one here and the two ones in blue here. Anytime you see icons like these, you can tap or click on them to access additional premium content. For example, this first one features a picture of the author, Richard Summers and I click on the X to close it. This next one happens to take you to the Wikipedia page of the forwards author, Frank Vandeveer. In this case, you'll notice that we open the Wikipedia page in a new tab in your browser. To return to the ebook, simply switch back to the tab where the book is open, like this. This book is available to you in two different views or orientations. We're currently using the horizontal or landscape view, where you can quickly flip through the book with multiple pages on the screen simultaneously. You can use the slider at the bottom to quickly move to another location in the book. So for example here I'll come down and grab the slider on the bottom, drag it across, and you can see I can go to any page within the book. And I'll go back to the beginning like this. In the bottom left corner you can also plug in a page number to immediately jump to that location. So in this case, if we plug in 36, it takes us to page 36 and you'll see another feature of this premium edition, the highlighted text right here. Just tap or hover over that highlighted area to see the notes that the author added exclusively to this version of the book. Now you can see a list of all the author notes by going to the top left corner and clicking on the My Book icon here and then clicking on the notebook right here. You can immediately jump to any of these notes in the book by tapping or clicking on them. Let's go back into the book by clicking back. And now let's switch to the vertical or portrait view, which is the mode you'll probably want to use for reading. Remember that you can zoom in and out with the plus or minus buttons on either side of the orientation buttons. So here now we have the orientation buttons and I'll switch to the vertical reading view. And again, here are the zoom out and zoom in buttons. You can highlight text, add your own comments, and even insert links to websites within your copy of the book. And you do so by simply clicking and dragging your mouse to highlight the text you want to select, and then choose the appropriate option from the pop-up menu. So for example, let's go ahead and highlight this particular line, and I'll select highlight from the pop-up, I'll put it in yellow, and I'll click save. And now I've added a new highlight to my version of the book. All of your comments and highlights and links are also viewable by going back again to that My Book icon and clicking on it in the top left corner, and then selecting Notebook and then looking in the Private tab. As with the author's notes, you can move to the page with a highlight, comment, or website link by simply tapping or clicking one of the items in this list. Now let's go back into the book. Placing and managing bookmarks is also very intuitive. To insert a bookmark, just click the blue icon in the top left corner of the page. So in this case, on page 37, we'll click here, and you'll notice that the icon changes to red, indicating that your bookmark has been set. You can see all of your bookmarks by clicking again on the My Book icon in the top left corner, and then selecting Bookmarks. And you can jump to any of these just by clicking on one of them. Now to remove a bookmark, it's kind of the reverse. So here we've jumped to a bookmark on page 50 and you can see it's already in red. If I click it, I'll remove it and it changes back to blue. Finally, the search option is always available at the top of the reader, right here. Simply type in the text you're searching and tap or click the Go button. So here I'll type in Grant and I'll hit Go. There are two ways to view the search results, by relevance or by page order. Now, page order shows the results as they appear in sequential order in the book. 
the relevance option over here arranges the results based on how many times the phrase appears on that page or whether that phrase is in a title or a heading on the page. In short, this relevance view places the pages that score highest in our relevance ranking towards the top of the search results. So that's about it. We'll go back into the book. Thanks again for purchasing this premium and rich ebook. We hope you enjoy your reading experience and look forward to hearing any product feedback you'd like to offer.